G'day, it's Simon Byrne here again. It's been a while since I've done a video, but uh, one thing I noticed was I'm seeing a lot of the people that I work with struggling with setting up their mix minuses when they've got live audiences in the room and remote callers having to present to a screen to an audience in a room through a PA system. Basically, I see lots of situations where guys get a little bit befuddled because they end up having loops in their uh, audio, which causes echoes and sometimes feedback. And it's because they haven't got their audio output set up correctly within vMix and their audio busing set up correctly within vMix. Now, I'll just start off by going through what I mean by audio busing. So if you look at this slide here, and let me just take it back to the start of the build, up the top of the uh, grid there, we've got our audio inputs. Now in this case, I've just got a feed from the house PA system. So this would be the microphones that are on stage that people are using to talk to both their audience and to go into the stream. In this case, I've just got a video playback, a couple of vMix callers, and then I've also added a producer's microphone. And that producer's microphone is what I use to talk to our remote callers prior to them going live in the event. So audio inputs across the top, and then down the side of this matrix, we've got our bus outputs. Now we've got our master bus, of course, that's the main one. And then we've got buses A through to G. So vMix has the capacity to do up to seven audio buses plus the master bus as well. So that's eight audio buses in total. So in my little scenario here, we've got our master bus, which is going to the stream. And that's what happens in 99.9% .9 of our occasions is we, work, we send our audio to the stream, obviously. But then I've got bus A here as well, and that's going to go to the house PA system. So this output is going to the house PA system so that our people in our room can hear the videos that are being played back as well as our remote callers. Now bus B, is a bus for the callers. So the callers can hear each other, plus they can hear what's coming from the feed from the house. And in my case, I've set up my third um, uh, bus for the producer listen. And I'll go through that um, shortly and explain what I'm going to do there. So our audio comes in to our uh, uh, busing system via the inputs on vMix. This is pretty standard stuff, but the audio doesn't go anywhere until it's routed to an output. Now in the case of vMix, that's done automatically because whenever you add an input within vMix, it automatically adds the output to the master output. So I'll just represent that on my uh, diagram here. So now we can see the audio coming in across the top inputs and it's coming in and because the master buttons are pre-selected on vMix, the audio is flowing out, it's flowing to the master bus and it's going to the stream. So that's standard stuff, that's happy days. That's what we wanna see for a normal stream. But it gets more complicated when we've got a house PA system. So one complication there is, is we don't want the producer's microphone to go on the stream. So obviously I'll turn that off. And then the next issue is, is we've got a house PA system. Now, what do we want to hear through the house PA system? Well, we don't want to hear the feed from the house itself, but in this case, we want to hear everything else. So that would be the video playback and the two callers. Once again, we don't want to hear the produ producer's microphone going through the house PA system. There's no need for that. So we also don't want to see the feed from the house going back to the house PA system. Because if we did that, we would create a loop. And this is what I see a lot. This is where people have got their audio output routed back into the PA system. And the PA system is feeding the input of uh, our vMix system. And so we've got this big loop created there. And I have to tell you, I see this a lot. This is where people get really confused. So we don't want to do that. So let's disconnect that and um, not have that loop set up there. Next of all, what do the callers need to hear? Well, they need to hear the feed from the house, the video playback, plus they need to be able to hear each other, plus they need to hear the producer's microphone. So the producer will no doubt talk to them prior to the event, get them settled, make sure everything's okay. So now they basically need to hear everything, don't they? 
And then finally, the producer needs somewhere to be able to listen to the audio of the callers only so that, um, uh, you know, if they need to coordinate the callers prior to the event starting and so on. So that's another bus there. And the producer can listen to just the callers and nothing else. And so that's th that's the setup of the buses. And so how do you set those up so that... Um, uh, everything works as expected within that plan within vMix. Well, I've got this same setup set up in vMix at the moment. And I've also got, in this particular case, I'm using an RME Babyface Pro FS interface. Now, this particular interface is a four input, four analog input, and four output uh, audio interface. And we map those settings in um, vMix, or those outputs, I should say, in vMix, using the audio outputs section uh, within settings within vMix. Now, I'll just zoom in on that so it's a little bit clearer for you. Now, on this particular interface, outputs three and four are the um, headphone outputs. So that's why I've got the, in this case, the ASIO Fireface driver, which drives the uh, Babyface. And in this case, outputs three and four are the headphone outputs. So that's perfect. I want to be able to hear what's going to the stream. So that's um, what I need. And then outputs one and two are the XLR outputs on the back of this particular interface. And that's what would go to the house PA system. So outputs one and two are assigned to bus A using the ASIO Fireface driver in this case. Outputs one and two of the RME Babyface Pro go to the house PA system. And then uh, uh, buses B and C are enabled because I'm just using those to do a little bit of routing. So then if I just cancel out of that, you can see what's going on. So I've labeled up the outputs so that they make sense. So house A, bus A goes to the house, bus B goes to the callers, bus C goes to that listen output. So now we've got a situation where um, we can route our various audio inputs to our various outputs and it makes sense. So if I go all the way back to my um, uh, PowerPoint presentation, let's have a look at what's going on in the plan. So our feed from the house, a video playback, our callers and our producers, well not our producer's microphone, they all need to go to the master. So everything needs to go to the master except the producer's microphone. So if we have a look at the um, audio section of vMix, we can see that that's what's set up. So our house input is going to the master, as is our video playback, as are our two callers. But look at this, our producer microphone is not going to the master output. Let's have a look at the next thing. The house PA output, that needs to hear the video playback and the two callers. Okay, let's have a look at that. So video playback, that's going to bus A, as are the two callers. See the bus A is selected there. I'll turn it on and off for you so you can see what's going on. So bus A. And um, producer's microphone is not going to bus A, nor is the house input going to bus A. Let's look at the next one. So the callers, what do they need to hear? So that's bus B, and they need to hear everything. So looking again, bus B. Bus B is turned on on every input. So anything that's coming into bus B is going to the callers. And then if I go to the caller inputs here, you'll see that their audio source is set to bus B as well. So that the callers are listening to bus B. And then finally, we've got that producer output and they producer needs to only hear the two callers. So once again, let's have a look and see what's going on there. And if we go to our callers and then if I, in order to bring up bus C, you right click on the input and there you go, bus C is selected there. Bus C is selected there, 
that bus C is not selected on our other inputs. So remember I talked about the producer's listen bus and a quick way for the producer to be able to listen to the callers using bus C. Well, in this case, it's a simple case of I've got these buses set up. I want to listen to the uh, callers only. All I need to do in this case is I just need to click on the solo for my listen bus. And because I've got my headphones set up uh, on the outputs three and four, that means that I'll be able to hear bus C through my headphones temporarily. And when I've finished, I can just turn that off. So that's pretty much it. That's how you set it up so that you don't get yourself into trouble. But what sometimes happens, and I've seen this quite a few times, is the interfaces come with um, some audio mixing software built into them, and they can cause problems for you as well. So if I just display that. So this is the matrix of my... Um, RME device, this device here. And here you can see something interesting is going on. So these are the playback outputs across the side. And then I guess you'd call um, uh, the, uh, yeah, well, so playback outputs. So that's the software playing back. And then these are the actual outs of the system. So something interesting is going on here. So on your two playbacks one and two, they're going to both outputs three and four as well as one and two. Now that will create an echo for you. So if you think about it, you're going from vMix through outputs on your interface into the house PA system and then back into vMix because your outputs uh, one through four are essentially gang together. So with RME gear, you need to go down to Reset Mix and set it to Straight Playback. So I'll set that to Straight Playback. So now, analog outs one and two are only out one and two. Headphones outputs three and four are only outputs three and four. So that will now make sense. That will now give you the ability to route your audio without it looping back into the PA. I uh, hope that this was really helpful for you and um, leave a comment down below and um, like and subscribe as they say. Thanks for that. Cheers.